Hello everyone and welcome to class of NFP architecture. Today in this class we are going to discuss about architecture of NFP technology. So this is the architecture framework here. It has various blocks. Architecture uh, supports network function virtualization, SDN and service and network orchestration. We have various units. Let's start with NFVI. So these are all the units of architecture framework with their full forms. NFVI, this is Network Function Virtualization Infrastructure. It includes all hardware and software components on which virtualized network functions are deployed. Moving to the next virtual network function, this is the software implementation of network function which is capable of running on infrastructure. Physical network function PNFs, it is an implementation of network function which it relies on a dedicated hardware and software as a part of functionality. VIM, this is virtualized infrastructure manager. It is responsible for controlling and managing NFVI compute, storage and network resources. It includes all the physical Infrastructure Managers, PIM. VNFM, which is Virtualized Network Function Manager, it is responsible for VNF lifecycle management, that is upgrade, scaling, healing, termination, all function it has to deal with. End-to-end -end orchestration, this, it is the function which is responsible for lifecycle management of network services. VNF orchestration done by NFV orchestrator. This orchestration is done by orchestrator. We can have catalogs and repositories. Catalogs and repositories. This is basically collection of various files, workflow templates, provisioning scripts, etc. Which are used by end-to-end -end orchestration, VNFM and SA to manage various functions and services. SA is basically which creates alarm and monitoring data. Now next is data center SDN controller. It is for managing network connectivity within the data center. We can have WAN SDN controller which is for control of connectivity services in a WAN. We can have access SDN controller. That's why it is written SDN controller. Access SDN controller is responsible for control of wireline and wireless access domains. We can have domain or vendor specific controller, which are optional controllers and they are required to handle specific vendor or technology domains in the absence of various interfaces or scalability purposes. We can have service orchestration. This is this is customer facing function responsible for providing services catalog to the various portals. Portal, portal includes customer portals where the customer can modify and monitor their services. EMS in the last diagram which is legacy system it is responsible for management of specific network elements. OSS they are responsible for variety of functions such order entry, service fulfillment and assurance, billing, trouble ticketing, help tech support, etc. This is architecture framework and these are all the architecture framework units. NFVI infrastructure, it comprises all hardware and software components which are uh, required for building up the environment in which we can deploy various virtualized network functions. We can manage them and execute them. It includes hardware sources, virtualization layer and virtualized resources, GPU, CPU chipset, forwarding box and their interfaces. This is NFE infrastructure. We can have three domains, virtualization domain, compute domain and infrastructure networking domain. NFE infrastructure, compute, storage and network, compute and storage and the compute domain, network and the networking domain. Here we can have manager virtualization layer containers so it is under virtualization domain thank you so much